What's good, guys? Fancy Joe back here on our Fancy Football Profile. Today, I am talking Washington Commanders wide receiver Terry McLaurin. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I have a ton of these fantasy profiles on the channel. Mock draft every Monday. Running back, wide receiver rankings, quarterback rankings on the channel. Check all that stuff out. League winners as well. Values, busts, sleepers coming your way soon. So check all that stuff out. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Drop a comment down below. I'll respond to all comments as always. Let's talk Terry McLaurin. So in 2021, Terry McLaurin finished as a wide receiver 25, averaging 10.3 points per game and half point PPR. He had 130 targets for 77 receptions, 1,053 yards, and five receiving touchdowns. Terry McLaurin is an extremely talented wide receiver, one of the most talented in all of football. The commanders demonstrated their belief in this by giving him a three-year, $68 million contract with $53 million guaranteed. And that's coming off last season where he dealt with horrendous quarterback play. Still at 1,000 yards, though. In 2021, just to demonstrate how poor his quarterback play is, only 62.7% of his targets were even deemed catchable last season, which is an abysmal rate for a wide receiver. But the answer, the question is, is Carson Wentz an upgrade for Terry McLaurin at this point in his career? Let's take a look at some numbers. Last year, Wentz, 27 touchdowns, 7 interceptions, a 67.9 PFF passer rating. Washington, 20 touchdowns, 15 picks, 58.3 PFF passer rating. So I do think it is a slight upgrade for Terry McLaurin, even if it's not a huge upgrade. Carson Wentz doesn't exactly get people's blood flowing as far as a quarterback. Upgrade goes, but still improvement for Terry improves his fantasy positioning for this year and I think he'll get significantly higher catchable targets. This is really important because something to point out with Terry McLaurin, he was fourth in the entire league in air yards last year, meaning if he can start hitting on a few of these, he could have a much better season. He's used down the field. We've seen Carson Wentz support a top fantasy option, a wide receiver in Michael Pittman last year. I think he can do it again. I do think this is an upgrade for Terry McLaurin. I do think you still need to temper your expectations because it is Carson Wentz. I don't think we're getting the full Terry McLaurin experience, unfortunately, this year. But I still think he's a, a admirable wide receiver, too, that you can put in your lineup who has upside. I have his projections for 80-plus receptions, 1,100-plus yards, and 6-plus receiving touchdowns. If you guys have made it to this point in the video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. I'll respond as always. This has been Fancy Joe. Thank you guys for watching.